everyone, welcome to our show. This is the very first episode of Stemination. My name is Tali Siwengoro in Tobama Polova, and today we have an introduction show. It's going to tell us a bit more about amazing lit content we have on the show. Today we have our guest. She is the founder of Stemination. She has two qualifications, and she's also my dear friend. Please come and welcome. Amanda Montigeno Langa. Hi guys! How are you? Good to know you. I'm good. Thanks so nice to have you. Thank you for having me. Thank um, you for having me. Before you sit down and start oh. with the show, okay. I would like you to just do a mini dance, just such a personality and a vibe. Sure, I don't dance, eh? So, I'm a person for everything, you know? Okay. I'm assuming it's a science because you like challenges, so it's yeah. like a mini challenge. So I need to do a dance, like do a dance for a long time. Yeah, just a mini summary, you know, My name is Nonsi Gelelo, Amanda Lana, and I originate from the East Strand in Gauteng. Hey, East Strand, yep. <laughs> Putting it on the map right there. And I came to Stellenbosch a couple of years ago yeah. to pursue my BSc in Molecular Biology and Biotechnology. Yes. I then did a postgraduate diploma in Marketing. My parents were very confused. <laughs> they were thinking Science, Marketing. Actually, my mother was just like, don't people do honors after they do their degree? <laughs> And I just said, no. no. <laughs> um, so for someone who's at home, who's like, what is the nation? What is it about? What, why are you planning to do differently? What, what would you say to them? Um, Stemination is my little baby, my, my brainchild. And it literally stemmed from the time I spent in science communication and promotion. Okay. As I mentioned to you earlier, what I do. Yeah. And I realized, okay, so we are going out there telling the learners, study science, come and do it, but we're always so focused on this is what it is, yeah. but we never give them a platform to actually engage with it. Because as soon as your hands are involved in something, you find it so much more intriguing and so much more fascinating from somebody like your teacher is standing in, in front of the class and saying one plus one is two or x is equal to why are you thinking why <laughs> is this relevant in my life? That is not true. <laughs> you know, you don't understand it, but when now you engage with it and I'm telling you that this right here, science. And yeah. you're just thinking, mind blown, Whoa. mind blown, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's literally what I was thinking. I was just like, okay, but now, there's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little disadvantage in some places. So you have the, the learners who have access to all of this information, right? They have fingertips, they even have career counselors in the school. And then you have the other side of the spectrum where there's no such thing. Yes. So what now? You know, how then do they get access to such information that can help them for their future? Because there's so many careers that lie in the sciences. Um, because STEMI, STEMI actually is an acronym. Okay. So it stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, Mathematics, and Innovation. Okay. So we are all that five nations. <laughs> um, so there's so, so, so many career opportunities and, and stuff lying in wait in those five fields. But as soon as you don't take mathematics and sciences at school, you can't really engage in that space yeah you know sure. and i understand why you wouldn't want to take those subjects because you're thinking what am i going to do with it it's i mean so i don't want to be a doctor i don't want to be an engineer so then i don't need it yeah. you know but there's so many other things you can do with it and that is what stem nation is going to show you and bring to you okay so literally we're going to be profiling scientists you know or and when I say scientists, I'm using the term very loosely yeah. because it's very different. There's your biomedical engineers, there's your there's your nanotechnologists, mm. there's your chemists. There's, okay. there's so, so many. And because you never see these people, you don't aspire yeah. to be like them. Exactly. You know, because you don't see them, but you're going to get to see them here. And you're going to get to understand what they do, where they work, how they got there, what they study. And through that, we're going to show you other places you can study 
other things that you can do to get to that career okay. and also funding it's very funding important. opportunities yes. they are there yes. we just don't know yeah but we will bring it all to you and you have it right here so if you somebody who just says i really want to be a microbiologist but you don't have time to be sitting and googling the whole time Micro you literally just go into our channel find and, and you find the one that speaks That's about microbiology and everything is right there all the links are in the description box everything is right there of this is how i can apply this is where i need to go this is the subjects i need so even somebody who's busy studying because as much as our target market is grade 8 to 12, yeah. even if you're busy studying in university right now, sometimes you're just thinking, what am I going to do with this degree? Yeah. There is that opportunity because now we've interviewed somebody who studied what you did and they're telling you that they worked here and we're also telling you this, these are the other places you can work if you don't work there. Thank you so much for embracing us with your presence and wishing you nothing but the best with you in future endeavors. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Please thumbs up this video. Please subscribe. Please share it on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, hashtag is it just a science. That is hashtag is it just a science. You're going to leave the hashtag below. Um, please leave any comments you have down below in the comment section. We have questions regarding careers, bursaries, show amanda just leave them down below we're gonna answer you actually you're gonna see you again next time bye